Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. Today, we are here with a Hayden Rohal. So she had a sale, which like never happens. So I actually got the ready bits for February and then a, a box, of, box of goodies here. So I took advantage of the sale prices of Hayden Rowe because like I said, she doesn't really offer sales all too often. And I wanted to jump on it. So this was, oh my God, when did I place this order? Uh, when was this? January 1st, 2022. So, and I don't know. I saved like 20 bucks with the sale. I think these are the full price, full prices. But I wound up saving like $80, $80 $18. Anyway, so I have a sticker that says, no matter how far you've gone down the road, turn back, or the wrong road, turn back. And then just a thank you card, which is always lovely. So I will do the just normal, like restock haulage here, and then we'll move into the ready bit. So samples are on top, our men's club. I love her little duckies. They are just so precious. Hmm, is that so lovely? Big old snore. Um, this smells manly, kind of like a, like if you were a man's soap, but also like mixed with like wood. So I don't know what that one is, but that one's manly. I don't know if I love, love that. Ooh, sea salt. I do love this one. This one is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Sea salt is just incredible. Literally the best like salty scent without being salty, if that makes sense. It's a dry sort of scent, but it's also kind of spa-like. I don't know. It's gorgeous. I've melted it. I loved it. I think she's bringing it back in the February restock. So if you're interested in trying it, pick it up. Ooh, beach linen. I don't like this. I've had this before. Yeah. Ooh. I do really don't like beach linen. Something about it is funky. Something about the linen note in here is not like a normal linen note. I don't know. There's just, there's something to that oil or whatever blend she's using, I do not like. It's almost like a mix of coconut, but not a good coconut, a bad coconut, and a terrible laundry oil. I don't know. I just don't like it. Okay, we have, these are what she calls knot bars. And for some reason, when I heard knot bar, I thought snap bar. So when I opened these, I was like, whoa, these are big and thick. And I was expecting a snap bar. I don't know why, that was my own brain. But yeah, these are her knot bars. And this is in Donut Shop. So I think I would probably cut these in, in half and then like one two three times maybe so you'd get one two like wait I don't know I'd probably get like six I'd probably get like eight melts out of this actually because it's really thick eight eight to ten melts and this smells like kind of light I mean not kind of light. it's it is light but it smells I, I don't know if I'd be able to classify it as donut but like some sort of pastry that's fluffy not too heavy on the bakery. It's kind of light. Yeah, I don't really get much from that. It's kind of disappointing. Hmm. But yeah, I don't get any like icing note from the donut. I don't get, it doesn't smell like the typical like vanilla crunch donut oil that people use. So yeah, we'll see if that about that one. And then I got Jessie's Girl in a knot bar. I have tried this one before and I think it was a ready bit and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a very, very pretty feminine scent but it's not perfumey it's got some berry in it so it's slightly fruity slightly pretty slightly just I don't know it's a really really nice scent I think maybe there might be some musk in here or something I'm not sure but it's gorgeous this one's really good it smells nice and strong too so that's Jessie's girl and I remember it, it melting well. Like it was nice and strong when melted. It lasted a good long time. So that's it for the uh, knot bars. Then we're on to souffle. So I have fresh linen, which I don't like this linen. This is, what is that oil? Is it, dang it, I can't remember. Is clothespins? It smells sort of like clothespins. I know she has a, I'm pretty sure she has a clothespins oil. Yeah. This smells like clothespins. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I love laundry, but there is a very small amount of laundry that I don't like, and that is clothespins is one of them. So 
no. Cupid, I love this one. Also got this one in a ready bit. Or maybe, no, I'm sorry. This was, I got in a sample and I enjoyed it so much. This, believe it or not, is like a cherry fizzy soda scent. And I never thought that I would like it, but it is amazing. It smells like a Shirley Temple, like where it's like ginger ale mixed with um, like just a, a sweet cherry. It's gorgeous. It's kind of summery. I just really like it. I Who would have thunk that Cherry could have gotten me to say I like it? I don't know. But this is the power of samples because I would have never, ever purchased this on my own. But thanks to a sample, I now have. So that's Cupid. Her bags feel nice and thick. Raspberry Lemonade. That smells really, really fruity and delicious. Yeah, raspberry. It, raspberry is the stronger note in this, followed by the lemonade, but I think when melting, it's kind of going to blend together and be just perfect. So yeah, I really enjoy that one. That one's a, a nice raspberry. It's not a floral raspberry at all. It's more of like a... Um, it's not as sweet as a raspberry jam. It's more of just like a straight raspberry scent. But I don't mind that at all. And we have white linen, which uh, mm, mm, kind of smells like what a laundromat would smell like. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate it. It's okay. Kind of smells like a mix of like, this is really messy though. Ah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's real messy going everywhere. Great. Great. All on my carpet. Oh, no. I have an area rug. I have hardwood floor mostly throughout the house, except in this room we have a giant, well, not giant. We have an area rug and rugs are so expensive that anytime something is like <laughs> getting on, I'm like, no, not my rug. Because rugs are very expensive for no reason. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, it smells like what a laundromat would smell like. Um, it's very strong. Again, I don't think I hate it. I don't think I love it. We'll try it though. I can't really think of how else to describe it. It doesn't smell soapy per se. It just smells like a mix of like, like laundry soap and dryer sheets, if that makes sense. And like freshly washed clothes, if that makes sense. Okay, and the last souffle here before the ready bits is Coconut Tranquility. I have her, I believe Peppermint Tranquility. Or no, I have a blend of something. This is interesting. Is this one messy too? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. This is interesting. It has sort of like a powdery note to it. It is coconut and it's not suntan coconut, which is great, but there is this sort of powdery note to it. And I don't, I think the scent notes may have something like that in it. I don't know. I'm not prepared. It's pretty. It's, I feel like it could almost give people a headache though because it is quite powdery. I was hoping for more of like a creamy coconut, like like a almost like not coconut cream pie, but you get you know that kind of vibe where it's just a really pretty creamy coconut. I was hoping for that, but yeah, this is that one might give me a headache. I like it again, don't love, I like, but um, mm, that one might be a bit headachey inducing. So we'll have to see about that one. Okay, on to the you ready bits. Do these come with these come with a card? Where's the card? Okay, welcome to your February spring break ready bit sampler. While most of us have spent some time in the freezing temperatures lately, with these scents you can escape to a sunny beach, feel the sun on your face, and the salt in the air. Happy melting. So these are such a great deal. You get, I think you get 11 of these squares, which is perfect for one melt. And I think it's $11. Maybe you get 12 melts and it's $11. I have no idea. But it's a really good deal. You don't have to pay shipping on it. And they're just a fabulous way to try a bunch of Hayden Rose scents. So I really love these ready bits. I, I just really like them. Plus they have the scent notes on them, which is amazing. And it's a fabulous way to try things before the restock. So I, I appreciate that. Okay, this is Midnight Rendezvous, which is citrus, cardamom, saffron, palo santo, light florals, wood, and smoke. It's a really pretty, like, purpley blue. This one's interesting. Interesting. Ooh, 
Oh, I actually, I actually like that. It kind of smells like, it has like, a, it almost smells like mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, but not nearly as like <clears throat> choking strong. <laughs> um, I like that one. That one's nice. I don't get any citrus or anything, but that one smells like mahogany teak wood. Then we have, oh, sea salt. Here it is. Salt, sea air, light florals, and musk. I don't get any florals. It's just a beautiful, dry, salty scent. Yeah. It's gorgeous. You have to try sea salt. It's really, really, really a lovely type of scent. It's kind of spa-like. Beach bar, fresh shaved coconut, sun-dried driftwood. That's an interesting combo. And that really smells like coconut and like a, I don't, I, want to, I don't want to say teak because I don't know, I don't know wood. I don't know different types of wood, but like a, a wooden bar, but not like an old wooden bar, like an outside wooden bar. I guess like a tiki bar, I guess. I don't know, is that what teak, is that what they call it a tiki bar? It's made of teak. I have no idea, but this, it smells like coconut, not suntan, and like a, like an outdoorsy, woody kind of note. I guess driftwood, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but it's very, very interesting. That is for sure. It's a beach bar. Sun Salutations, which is grapefruit, orange, pineapple, jasmine, apricot, vanilla, and musk. And it's yellow. I love yellow. And I love grapefruit. You know I love grapefruit, and then you know I love orange. So, mm, I get mostly pineapple and apricot in this, and I don't love. Apricot reminds me of peach. I know they're different fruits, but they remind me of each other. So, I get mostly pineapple, yeah, and apricot. This one is not, I wouldn't even consider it citrusy. Not grapefruit, not orange. Apricot, pineapple, and I guess maybe some of the jasmine because it's got a little something something in there. But yeah, that one I don't think I would get because I don't like those scents. Tahitian Dream, Tahitian Vanilla, Oak, Cedar Wood, and Amber. This one sounds like it might be very pretty. And it is, it's a very pretty vanilla scent it's definitely the cedar wood the cedar wood is there um not my type of vanilla i like more of a, just a bakery vanilla but this is definitely more complex this is more not body care is in its perfumey but you know how like body care like like a maybe like a fancy body care not like a bath body works yeah where it's got more layers to it more depth mm-hmm not bad, but not a purchase. Cantaloupe, fresh cantaloupe. I think, is it hers that I've had or Elf Freeze? I think it's hers. And it is so good. It's hers. This is so good. Cantaloupe, if you're going to get anything so far, get the sea salt and the cantaloupe. This is literally like mouth watering. My mouth is, I'm drooling over this. It is so juicy. Fantastic scent. Absolutely fantastic. I, and it's so strong. That little bit is strong. This is not, so like melon can be hit or miss, but this is a hit of a melon. It is so stinking good. So good. I really enjoy cantaloupe. Barbie girl, strawberry, raspberry, guava, and fizzy pop. I feel like this one I'm going to like. I do. <laughs> I do. Mostly fizzy. With like a hint of those kind of pink fruits. Yeah, that one smells good. Mostly fizzy, <clears throat> choking. Mostly fizzy pop though, but I don't mind that. Her fizzy pop is a really great oil. Cherry cola, which is Coca-Cola and cherry juice. I don't know about this one. I don't think I've ever had like a cola scent. I've had vanilla cola candy from Bath & Body Works NL3, but not nothing else. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is not good. I'm sorry, this is not good. It smells like, okay, you know, like the um, 
you know the coke freestyle machines where you there's like every option of coke and how it comes out is seltzer water and then the syrup it smells like the syrup mixed with not great not good like the syrup is like flat there's no carbonation to it it smells like that and i guess cherry i don't know that I, mm, I'm, I'm not loving that on cold that one not a huge fan of that one and then we have two left okay so oh beach linen gross clothing dried in an ocean breeze it's just not good i'm sorry it's horrible i don't like that one at all skip that <clears throat> sorry and then the last one is orange blossom which is orange clementine flower orange blossom water lily and vetiver and i bet you that this is gonna be florally yep it smells like honeysuckle that smells like honey no maybe not it's pretty it's really pretty if you like more florally type of scents this is i think orange blossom is the best one because it has orange in it duh but it smells it smells so pretty not for for me because i don't love the smell of florals but very very pretty with that hint of orange so i think that one is a nice one for floral lovers so that is it how many do you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh you get ten you get ten for i think eleven dollars so that is it for the ready bits like i said sea salt and cantaloupe are your are my picks i don't i'm not gonna order them because i have them but if you were curious as to what i would purchase from the ready bits those are it and that is it you guys that is it for this haul. Let me know down below if you guys love Hayden Rowe. If you've shopped Hayden Rowe, you're going to purchase anything, let a girl know. I'd love to chat with you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will, che I will check you. I'll check you in my next one. Bye.